Welcome back children. This is the part 4 of No Men Are For An MCQ for Class 9th English. I hope you have enjoyed the rest of the parts. Please keep on liking and subscribing to this channel and share amongst your friends. Let's quickly begin the last part. What does defile mean? Both damage and destroy. Build, damage or destroy. So children, defile means both damage and destroy. Open and shut can be compared to wake and sleep, strange and foreign, sun and air, wake and run. So children, open and shut can be compared to wake up and sleep. So when we wake up, we open and when we sleep, we shut. Remember they have eyes like ours that wake. This phrase means God has tried to give beautiful eyes to everyone. God has given similar eyes to everyone. God knows the deserving or God has punished the one-eyed. And children answer for this is God has given similar eyes to everyone. According to the poet James Kirkup, how do we damage the earth? By vehicles, by lifting weapons against each other, by cheating each other, by demeaning elders. So children, we damage earth by lifting weapons against each other. According to the poet James Kirkup, during long winters, people from every country are compelled to, to look out for their loved one, to starve, to fight or to stay silent. So children, as per the poet James Kirkup, during long winters, people from every country are compelled to starve, and wait for the harvest to come. In the poem, No Men Are Foreign, what one needs to recognize and understand. Love is all we need. Life is common in every land. It's good to be humble that men is mortal. So children, what one needs to recognize and understand is life is same in every land. There is no difference. The whole earth belongs to us. It's same everywhere. What should we remember about men from the poem, no men are foreign, that no one is foreign, both no one is strange and foreign, that all are weird, that no one is strange. So children, we should remember that no one is strange and no one is foreign. So both no one is strange and foreign. What does outrage of innocence means in the poem? violating the purity, violating rules and regulations. Innocence is precious or innocence is lost. So children, this means violating the purity. Find the antonyms used in the poem, no men are foreign. Love and hate, peace and war, both sleep and wake and love and hate sleep and wake so you know sleep and wake are antonym peace and war is also antonym love and hate is also antonym i think so peace and war could not be because war so both sleep and wake are antonym and love and hate are antonym so that's it remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep whose eyes people from different planets poets acquaintances people from different countries or people from poet's village? Answer is people from different countries. What is the message conveyed in the last stanza of the poem, No Men Are Foreign? We are too close to wars. We should not indulge ourselves into wars against each other. We should not hate brothers. All men are equal. So children, answer is we should not indulge ourselves into wars against each other. In the poem, no men are foreign. If we recognize and understand others well, then there will be no pandemic, mistrust, quarrels or wars. So it will be there will be no war. According to the poet James Kirkup, we all shall lie in, dash in the end, a peaceful crematorium, Mother Earth, Mother Land, Mother's House in the end. Answer is Mother Earth's. 
our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence this fire and dust come from vehicles industries machines or wars it comes from wars sab kuch war se related hai is poem mein yaad rakhna aap log according to the poet james kirk what should we remember when we wake up weapons against each other then we take up weapons against each other jab bhi hum kisi ek dusre ke against weapons uthate hain what should we remember we don't value democracy we damage mother earth we make everyone sad or we seek violence answer is we damage mother earth the next question the poet james kirkup says that strength can be won by money love weapons or education and children answer is love remember strength can be won by love according to the poet james kirkup what pollutes the air dust from war blood from the war or fire from the war or both fire and dust from the war answer is both fire and dust from war what is the common thing in every land in the poem no man are foreign strength life man or desires and children the common thing in every land in the poem is life life is same everywhere in the poem again no man are foreign people of other countries are fed by peaceful harvests multiple organizations string economy or their mothers it's an easy one it's peaceful harvests our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence what does this mean war destroys the purity of uh, purity of an innocent atmosphere fire and dust are unhealthy for the patriots firing happens during war and kills people hell is not for the innocents children answer for this is war destroys the purity of an innocent atmosphere what can be won by love according to the poet james kirkup strength education passion or money answer is strength that brings to the last question of this chapter mcq no man are foreign i hope you have enjoyed this video and the other videos which i have been posting if you have please do like them please share this share this videos with your friends and subscribe to the channel outrage means disgust peace engage or scold so children outrage means in the poem outrage means disgust thank you for watching this video have a lovely day and wish you all the very good luck and best wishes